Ah. Well, hello everyone. See that uh, everyone's starting to uh, check in. I am, uh, you know, just a uh, minute uh, early, and you know, thanks for everybody chiming in. It's uh, ten thirty in uh, sunny Denver. Um, I'm thanks for everybody for joining. My name is William Davis. I'm the director of education for Wilson Daniels, and we are going to head to the south of France. So. Um, we are going to uh, Chateau Gassier, which you see here in the, uh, the inset with the wonderful backdrop of uh, Mount Saint Victoire in the, um, in the Côte de Provence, uh, specifically in the appellation of Saint Victoire. So I am going to get Olivier Subala, the president of Chateau Gassier, uh, online here. So let's give him just a moment. Uh, many of you have already uh, had the chance to taste a few of the wines from Chateau Gassier. Uh, the uh, property has uh, uh, been represented by Wilson Daniels now since 2016. Uh, so it's uh, been a wonderful four years. So uh, we are uh, waiting for Olivier. Uh, it is connecting right now and uh, we just did a dry run. So I, I know that uh, we have good cell phone reception Oh, so uh, let's see, he declined. Let's see if we can try that again. Um, Olivier, let's see if you can uh, get back on with us. Sorry, I'm uh, typing this in while I'm... I know, it's like I can't chew gum and talk at the same time. So uh, let's see if I can get him to uh, reconnect. But in the uh, meantime, uh, Chateau Gassier uh, has been around uh, since the early 80s, but the estate has, uh, has, has been around for literally hundreds of years at the base of Mount St. Victoire. So it uh, looks like they had some connection difficulties. So I'm gonna wait for uh, Chateau Gassier to rejoin us. And there he goes again. So let's try that one more time. Here we go. So we're waiting for uh, Olivier to uh, join us. He will be in the, uh, in, ah, oh, there we go. Olivier, how yeah. are you, my friend? Hello, I'm okay. It was difficult to join you, but it's okay now. I think, uh, you see me? Yes. I see you just fine. So um, that's good. I mean, yeah, that's, that's why we do the dry runs, right? You know, because, you know, when we're talking, you know, halfway around the world, you know, you always have those technical difficulties, but uh, we have you uh, good to go. And it looks like the, uh, the weather is delightful uh, yeah. on your side. Today, it's uh, sunny after two days of rain. It's uh, sunny today. It's uh, 22, 23 degrees Celsius. Oh, great. A little bit windy, but perfect weather for staying outside. With, with a bottle of rosé, sure. <laughs> you have the bottle and I have the glass right here. So, um, <laughs> sure. yeah. we have to <laughs> well, I always refer to it, you know, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's late afternoon for you, but uh, here uh, I consider this breakfast of champions. It's, uh, you know, 1030 <laughs> my time in Denver. So, uh, you know, thanks, thanks for uh, joining us. Uh, I know that we had initially, uh, we, we were scheduled to have uh, Guillaume, uh, uh, join us, but you know, thank you for making the drive down from Chateau. We really appreciate you taking time away from the family last minute. Um, so you know, uh, we we can't appreciate that enough. So um, you know, tell us, you know, just a little bit about the uh, the label of Gassier. You know, since uh, since you just brought it up. Yes, the the label of Esprit Gassier. When when we launched uh, five years ago, now the project of Esprit Gassier. Uh, as you know, means spirit of Gassier, very easy to understand. Uh, we launched uh, at first a wine, uh, a style of wine, a type of wine. And for the label, we decided to ask to a French painter. It's not Paul Cézanne. Huh? It's uh, just a young French painter. We live in, a, in, a, in the small village of Puy-Loubier, where we are. It means Puy-Loubier is 20 minutes it's east uh, to Aix-en-Provence. And we asked to this young French painter to describe during the tasting 
to describe what he feel during the testing uh, and draw what he feel. So he, 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 he tastes and he describes the wine as you know on the label now. I don't know if you yes, can. Yes, please, please, please show it up. Oh, you, you the uh, there is a lot, a lot of uh, pastel color, pastel color, a lot of flower, uh, because the spirit of Gassier is the wine. It's an entry level of orange. Uh, it, it means it's not a cheap wine, sure, but it's an entry level before Padum One and before Nine Four Six. But Spirit of Gassier, spirit of Gassier means you, you have to find in this wine all the spirit of our team, of our vineyards, uh, in this wine. So we will taste after and describe the wine more with more details, but just to, to, to explain you the, the feeling and the labels of Gassier. Wonderful. So what, what grapes exactly go into Esprit de Gassier? Excuse me? What grapes specifically go into Esprit de Gassier? What's the blend? So grapes we use are uh, the, the, the three to four most important grapes we use in Provence. It means uh, Syrah, uh, Grenache, Cinso for the three most important grapes used in Provence. Uh, everywhere in Provence, we use these three grapes to, to produce rosé. After, depend of the place where we are, we use different grapes. In San Victor Valley, we use uh, a white grapes whose name is Vermontino in Italian, you know. In Provence, we call these grapes Rolle, R-O-L-L-E. And we are authorized to use maximum 20% of these grapes in our blend. So I speak about the grapes during the vinification process not after to, to blend white and, and rosé rose wine, it's totally forbidden, but during the process of uh, harvest and, uh, and, uh, and vinification, we add 20%. In Esprit Gassier, it's less than 20, but the maximum is 20%. I see. And, we have some, and we have some very, uh, very, very small part of Uni Blanc in our, in our, in our blend. No, I, I really love how the uh, white grape, uh, grape varieties, you know, the Rall and the Uni, um, they provide, you know, uh, you know, more of these tropical fruit and, you know, high tone citrus notes that you don't necessarily get with the, with, with the red grape varieties, with Grenache and Syrah. Um, we, no, sorry, with, no, with, no, Rolle, no. with Rolle, you're, you're totally right. Uh, it permits us to give a lot, a lot of perfumes, uh, a lot, a lot of citrus perfume, exotic perfume. Not only because it's all, because you have a, we will speak after about the terroir, but we have a terroir effect about the, the, the nose and the palate. But uh, yes, Grenache, Grenache and Syrah, we use more for the structure of the wine. It's a different use. Okay. So, you know, um, naturally you can see the image here that I have of the uh, saint Victoire of, of the range itself. We're looking, you know, uh, in the opposite direction where you are. You were looking away from that. Uh, so, uh, you, you know, you're looking north, uh, so I'm looking south, or, you know, at least uh, all of the viewers are. So tell us a little about the, uh, the terroir and the soil composition of what okay. you have in the valley and what makes it so unique to other areas in the Côte de Provence, because it's a pretty large area, right? Yes, it's, it's, it's not very, very large. It's a small area compared to Provence area. Provence yeah. area, as you know, is begin at the north of Aix-en-Provence and finish around Nice, Nice and Cannes. So it's more 200 kilometers. Uh, saint Victoire, it's a very small part of, the, of this Provence area because it's only uh, 15 kilometers long to five kilometers uh, large maximum. It's between Aix-en-Provence, which means the end of Bouches-du-Rhône area, uh, and the saint Victoire, uh, the name of the saint Victoire Valley. The real name of the valley is Valley de l'Arc, Arc Valley, because there is a, a river at the center of the valley, like everywhere in, a, in the world, there is a river at the center of the valley. Uh, the, the name of the river is Arc, and the name of the valley, no, everybody uh, said Saint Victoire, because the Saint Victoire is a mountain that we can see, uh, the new project now, is a beautiful mountain. It's a, it's a, a white mountain, uh, because it's a lot of limestone, and only limestone, not a lot of limestone. The basis is more clay, but the, the mountain is, uh, is, uh, is limestone. This mountain is very known all over the world because Paul, Cenza, Paul Cézanne, the French painter, paint a lot, a lot of times the Saint Victor mountain. Uh, and the, specific, the specificity of the terroir is due to the erosion of the mountain. Uh, the mountain is the beginning of the French Alps. Uh, when French Alps uh, begin the, the transformation, uh, the Saint Victor Valley, the Mont Ventoux in Rhône, 
are the the the, the beginnings the premise it's okay Pre yes. premise of the of the of the mountain uh, so the the direction of the mountain is east west uh, and it's the same it's the same sense than the french alps after 200 kilometers more uh, to the north yeah the terroir, the terroir of the mountain for all the saint victor terroir is uh, for the, the the most important terroir are clay and limestone uh, due to the erosion of the mountain and because million and million of, uh, of years before uh, the sea uh, was uh, in the valley and uh, the sea was uh, just uh, at the, at the foothill of the mountain. And so, you know, with, with that in mind, and, you know, we had just talked about the esprit, you know, because yes. you're not specifically dealing with the, uh, with the soil types of saint Victor. Um, there are a couple of other vineyards that we work that you work with for the Esprit. How does that, you know, come together in the in, in the complexity uh, and the style of Esprit de Gassier compared to the uh, compared to the Saint Victoire wines? With Esprit Gassier, uh, so you're right. It's not uh, it's a Côte de Provence, as you know, but it's not a Côte de Provence cru Saint Victoire like the Pas du Moine or 946 are. Esprit Gassier is Côte de Provence because for Esprit Gassier, we use more and more year after year. Um, as you know, uh, William, you know that, but for, for all the people who are uh, watching the, 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 the Instagram live, uh, we manage now 40 hectares of uh, Chateau Gassier to produce Le Pas du Moine on 946. And since three years now, we manage 100 hectares just in front of Chateau Gassier. It means that the other part of the valley, valley 100 hectares means now we are uh, able to use only our own grapes to do our own vinification. It means since the 19th vintage, Esprit Gassier is made with only, with grapes comes from only saint Victor terroir. Oh, that is uh, fantastic. It before, before, three years, four years ago, it was 50 and 60%, 70%. No, it's 100%. And it permits uh, us to give uh, more and more the, the name of spirit of Gassier, uh, because uh, as I said before, with this wine you need to find all all the specificity of the Gassier range. So now we do we are doing our own vinification in our in our new new vinification site, just five kilometers five kilometers sorry, in front of us. That is that, that's great right news. You know, I'm, I'm yes. really excited. No, I'm seriously, I'm I'm, I'm excited to, uh, to to hear that because. You know, we always talk about the specificity of site. Um, yes. You know, we talk about terroir only, you know, only too often uh, in what we do in our daily lives. And it's nice to see that it is all, you know, coming from, you know, the uh, specific terroir of, of, of saint Victoire. Will there ever be discussion to change the label to include saint Victoire in, in the future for Esprit? For instance, no, uh, just for one reason. Uh, today in our ranch, we are from our own vineyard, Chateau Gassier, we have Le Pas du Moine and 946, who are Saint Victoire wine. And when you follow the rules of Saint Victoire wines, you obtain more gastronomic wine. Because if you remember, and, and William, I know you remember that, to produce Saint Victoire, you need to use minimum 50% Syrah and Orgonache. Yes. When you, when you use, like Le Pas du Moine, 60% Syrah and Orgonache, and like nine, or like 946, when you use uh, it, uh, 90% Syrah and Orgonache, you obtain uh, gastronomic wine. It means wine with full-bodied, with tannins, able to, to, to age more than two, three years. Esprit Gassier is not our goal. With Esprit Gassier, uh, you, you have to remember, you need to remember that we, we just want to produce uh, easy drinking wine with the spirit of Gassier. And if tomorrow we, we, we change or we, we produce and we use the rules of Saint Victor wines, we will obtain a Saint Victor wine in Esprit Gassier. And it will be totally different. Uh, the, 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 the wine will be totally different. The goal of Esprit Gassier, I repeat, is to produce a wine, a serious wine. It's not because it's a rosé, it's just a drink. As you know, we produce wine like white, like red. But with Esprit Gassier, it's, it's easy to understand, easy to drink, and it's an it's a, it's a easy wine to, to, to approach Provence spirit. No, that makes That's also why the Padamoine 
as well as the 946, are released later than the Esprit de Excuse Peter. me. Are released, me. Are, are, are put in bottle. Question. Can you hear me? I had, I, I had a problem of connection, if you can oh. repeat the question. Of course. So uh, that's another reason why the Padamuan, as well as the 946, are released later. Sure. <laughs> yeah, because, because a lot of people don't realize that the crews, uh, they cannot be released at the same time as a regular uh, Côte de Provence. They have today, to be aged a little bit longer. Yes, today, Côte de Provence, by the law, you are, uh, you are allowed to, 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 to send, for example, in US, Côte de Provence, uh, I think it's until the 10 or 15 of December. For Saint Victoire, it's only until the 1st of March. Yes. And as you know, uh, if you taste tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, but if you taste next year, Le Pas du Moine, the 2nd of March with the vintage 2020, for us, we, we ask to our consumer to wait to taste the wine because of the structure, because of the tannins, because of the, of the, the, the structure of the wine. It's more difficult to drink a Saint Victoire wine like a very easy drinking wine like Espégacier. So uh, Le Pas du Moine, now, when, when we stand in the US market, you, you receive the Le Pas du Moine, I, I, if I remember well, it's in April. And the news since this year is for 946, we decide and we decide with you guys and with Rocco and the Wilson Daniel team, when you came last year, when we taste, if you remember well, 946, 15, 16, 17, oh, 18, <laughs> everybody agrees then the best vintage is the vintage, uh, how to explain in English, the, the vintage one year before it was, it was 18 yes. in 19 and non, on not 19. So now we release the 18 vintage for 946 this year. And our goal is, by the way, to prove that Saint Victoire wines are not only rosé, but with Saint Victoire, you can keep your wine two, three, four years in your, in your cellar with 946. Uh, and to drink differently. No, it's, you know, it's funny, yeah, because, you know, recalling that visit, uh, it's an eye-opener. You know, we never talk about rosé and the abilities for rosé to age, but the 946, it needs a year or two to show the complexity, to show, um, you know, all of the different aspects of yes. that wine. And for, for a wine of that quality and that price in the rosé category, um, I, I really do believe that you need three to five years. I thought that the 2016 was one of the most beautiful rosés that I've ever tasted. You know, yes. fantastic vintage. You know, we see the, you know, the comparisons between uh, 2016 and the 2019s. But the 946, you know, with a little bit of oak aging, it, it requires that additional time. And I think that somebody asked, you know, what wine is best for action movies? Maybe you can chime into that. I think that it might be the Padamuan, the path of the monk. Maybe because I was a huge fan of Kung Fu and I'm reminded of you know, the, uh, the, the old uh, television show in the 70s with, uh, with, uh, with Carradine, where he walked uh, much like the, uh, the monk. So that's your answer there on the uh, comments. Sorry, I, 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 I should get back to the, uh, to the, to the questions that we had. Um, so, you know, with as a specialist, you know, producer of uh, of Cote de Provence, um, and we talk about the Saint Victoire Terroir, what does that bring to the structure of the wines for rosé? What What is that? What does What does the terroir of Saint Victoire of Saint Victoire, and um, how you make rosé? Uh, what do you think makes it so unique compared to the other crew of okay. the Côte de Provence? You know, Fréjou or Lalonde, for example. No. In Provence, in Provence, now you have five crew. It was four until last year. Now it's five because you have the, the last one with uh, the name is Notre Dame des Anges, mm -hmm. at the center of the Var. But crew, uh, the story of the crew, it was 2004 when the Valais obtained the, the right from the French authority to use the name of Saint Victoire. At first, because all the people, all the viticulturists in Saint Victoire Valley worked during uh, more than 10 years to, 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 to obtain this uh, uh, reconnaissance in French, 
uh, because uh, in Saint Victoire you have two parameters. You have the first is the terroir, is a unique terroir due to the mountain. There is only one mountain Saint Victoire all over the world, and in Provence, sure. So the erosion of that mountain to give will give to the valley this specific soil at first. Second is like because it's a valley, it's a altitude valley because the, the, the terroir of Chateau Gassier, for example, the vineyards is around 330 and 360 meters. It's not a Everest Mount, sure, but it's 350 meters above the level of the sea. It means during the night, we have very, very fresh night. I always say that because, because people, <laughs> when, when, you, when you don't live here, you cannot understand. Uh, during the night in July and August, during the day you have 36, 37 Celsius. Hmm. It's very, very yep. hot. It was 41 last, last summer during three days. Wow. And during the night you have, you may have during a, 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 during a lot of night, you may have 15, 16, 17, 17 degrees. It means we have very, very fresh and cold night, Co cold, not very fresh night during mm -hmm. the, the summer. And these, these, uh, Temperature permits to give to the grapes a unique acidity and sugar will give with the terroir to the Saint Victoire, to the Saint Victoire wine this unique taste and unique composition. You have other crew, you're right, like Lalonde, for example. Lalonde is near the sea. Lalonde, is, you, can, uh, you can see the, the, the map is uh, around the village of Lalonde, Lalonde les Morts, Hier, Le Lavandou. Uh, you can imagine you are near the sea. You have no <laughs> fresh night, sure. The temperature during the night is exactly the same than during the day. The terroir is totally different, so the wine is totally different. For another crew, for example, with Pierre Feu, Pierre Feu is at the center of the bar. This, this place is very, very hot and very dry. In Saint Victoire, you can see uh, on, your, on your photo, you have, uh, you, you have rain. We had rain during the last two days, a lot of rain. So it's a climate totally different than another place in Provence. Really totally different. No, I can see that. And yes, you know, we can speak to a diurnal shift um, that you don't necessarily find in Lalon or uh, Fréjus. You know, it's, uh, you know, you might get 10 or 15 degrees difference, you know, between yes. the uh, day and night because of the Mediterranean and that influence. Um, so, you know, one of, you know, one of the, uh, the great things we talked about uh, the, the addition of, uh, of, of the white grape varieties. We love seeing some of those uh, citrus notes. Um, yes. You know, <coughs> what citrus uh, notes are most dominant in the, uh, in the Esprit for, from your perspective? So citrus note is by the nose, the first note you have, sure. Uh, after the citrus note, and at, on, on the same level of citrus note, you find uh, a lot of white and yellow fruit. Uh, you find uh, mango. Sorry. <laughs> you find mango, you find peach. Uh, you find uh, all, all the family of exotic fruit. So passion uh, fruit. Passion, uh, passion fruit, you're right. Uh, mango, as I said, uh, pineapple fruit. You, you find a lot of exotic fruit. Uh, it's for us. It's the link uh, in our Gassier range. This kind of of nose, this kind of fruit, you will find in all the range. Totally different with nine four six. Sure, totally different. But the link is always on the exotic fruit. Why? <laughs> you know, when, when you taste when you taste le, le Pas du Moine, for example, all the people said at the first nose they said, oh, there is white Sauvignon. No, there is no white Sauvignon in Le Pas du Moine. There is no white Sauvignon uh, in, in Chateau Gachier. So there is no white Sauvignon by the nose. But it's made like, like a, a white Sauvignon because it's a mix of different fruit family who give the smell, the, the feeling of Sauvignon. Uh, but the exotic fruit it is the link in, in a range of wine. I think due to the terroir, one part of the terroir, one part of the, of the weather, I, there is no one answer. It's possible to have a, a multiple, uh, multiple answer. No, I think I think that's fair because you know, you know, one of the the joys of drinking rosé is just how uncomplicated it is. You know that it's it's more. You know, we talk about it being a lifestyle uh, wine rather than a very serious, visceral, 
uh, thought-provoking uh, style, but you also want some complexity. You want different fruit uh, components. It's no different than having a great summer salad with all of those different flavors instead of just eating one fruit. You are... You hear me? Yes. I can hear you just fine. Yes. Uh, with with Esprigacier today, with the food, you, sp you speak about uh, the, the food. Oh, I, sp I spoke about the fruit as in a fruit salad. You know, a salad of fruits where you have okay. different, different, fla different fruits that yes. you know, make a more complex dish. You know, a, a fruit salad, um, almost a, a fruit cocktail, if you would. You know, uh, you know, something along those lines. And uh, it's one of the joys of uh, drinking rosé. Uh, sure. But one of the uh, things about rosé is the color. So how would you describe uh, the color of the Esprit de Gassier or any of the Côte Provence rosés that are made by Gassier? Hello. Uh, sorry, the, the color the color is today totally different between Esprit Gassier and Le Pas du Moine, for example. Le Pas du Moine, the, it's difficult to say the color is the, the 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 name for the consumer is the color, but it's the trend we will find in the in the in the in the bottle, and the, this this color will change uh, depend where you how you are looking your wine, where you are looking your wine, and depends if you if you look for the color in January. Or one year after, the color change because the white, uh, the, the the glass of the bottle is white, so the light change a lot the color of the wine. For Esprit Gassier, uh, the the link is the pink color. Uh, sorry, for le, the path of the monk. Sorry, yeah. the path of the monk. The link is the pink color. For Esprit Gassier, it's totally different. The the trend is the peach. Yes, yes. Esprit Gassier mm -hmm. is pale color because we produce very pale color. Uh, in Provence in general and in Chateau Gassier. And the color of Esprit Gassier today is peach. Uh, I rem remember Esprit Gassier is not a Saint-Victor wine. Esprit Gassier is a Côte de Provence wine made with the rules of Côte de Provence. So uh, the color in Le Pas du Moine is different because you, you, you have a different blend between Le Pas du Moine and Esprit Gassier. So it's one, one of the reasons why, why the color is different. But the color, sure, for Esprit Gassier is a peach, peach trend, peach color. I see. Yeah, we've got the insert of the, uh, the Pas de Moine uh, here. Um, so I, I guess there's a question that just came through. What are the grades of Esprit Gassier in, oh, you're referring to the, uh, the press or the scores. So we have yet to uh, uh, get ratings on the 2019 since it just arrived. Uh, but uh, we've uh, consistently scored a 90 score uh, for enthusiasts and other publications. Hopefully that answers your question, Matilda. Matilda Bibbs, yes. Um, but I have a feeling that the quality of the 2019, and uh, let's talk about the, uh, the, the quality of the 19 vintage since it's been, just been released. Uh, you know, what do you think makes the 19 special? Olivier. If you compare, if you compare to 18, uh, 19 is totally different. Uh, maybe you, you, you remember that 18 was a very, very rainy season uh, during, during the winter. It's, it's not very important during the winter. It's, it's, it's very important to obtain rain during the winter because you have rain in your soil. But it was very, very rainy during the, the summer. Uh, it means May, March, April, and May. It was in, in 18. Uh, a very bad uh, beginning of, of uh, spring season and give in Provence and in Rhone Valley, it was the same, a lot of disease like mildew. So 18 was a, a, a diff for, for professional, for viticulturists, 18 was a very, very difficult vintage. 19, it was the total opposite. <laughs> 19 was very dry, dry during the summer, uh, the, sorry, dry during the spring and during the summer, it's it's only dry in Provence, you know, during summer, but during spring, it was very, very dry. So the typicity of the grapes, of the wine, are totally different. For us, uh, sure, 19 is over, up, is up 18, if you compare both. Uh, it doesn't mean that 18 was bad. 
it mean, just means that 19 is better. Just, just an, an example, Esprit Gassier for the first year in 19, we receive, alors, it's, a, it's a French gold medal, but in France, it's a better medal you, you can have. It's a, a gold medal in the French uh, agriculture uh, uh, concours in Paris. Okay. Uh, it's for, for French viticulturists, it's, a, it's a, the most, the, the best recognition for wine or for cheese. It's the same. You have medals for cheese for all the AOP in France. And Esprit Gassier for the first year received the gold medal. Le Padimoine received every year. But for the first year, Esprit Gassier received this medal. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, I'm sure that that will, uh, that will continue for, uh, for years to come. Um, so food. Uh, and, you know, what are some of the classic pairings you would recommend for the Esprit de Gassier? Local dishes. It's difficult with a coq au vin, as you agree. <laughs> <laughs> no, you yeah, know, there, might be, you know, there might be better dishes. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, in Provence, we have, a, like everywhere in France, we have a speci speci specialty uh, uh, in, in our region. Uh, with Esprit Gassier, you can uh, imagine... Uh, First, for me, it's just aperitif, just a glass of wine. It's a pleasure, you know, the sunny, sunny weather, uh, not very hot, but it's, it's dry, it's cool. You can just drink a glass, a glass of wine. If you speak about food pairing, with Provençal food pairing, uh, we think about Niçoise salad. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, it's a fresh, fresh salad uh, from, uh, from, nice, from the south of France. Uh, if you are in Marseille, you can uh, imagine a bouillabaisse. Not only in Marseille, huh? near, near the sea. Uh, very nice bouillabaisse because a lot of fish. Uh, not, not too spicy because uh, with wine, it's always difficult. Um, Provençal speciality because uh, we, we like and we have a lot of vegetables is a French uh, ratatouille, Provençal ratatouille. Uh, and with Provençal ratatouille, you can, you can, uh, you can uh, imagine a small stuff uh, petit farci in French uh, with the vegetables and, uh, and, uh, and meat. Uh, uh, we love rosé wine in Provence more and more uh, with, uh, with dessert. Uh, as you know, when you have a lunch or dinner, people, uh, because it's everywhere all over the world the same, not all over the world, but in a large part of the world, you have rosé for aperitif or white and for the, for the lunch or dinner, you have red. And when you arrive at the end of the dinner, you have a dessert, you have fruit, uh, you have a uh, different dessert and you continue with the red. It's totally crazy. With, with the dessert, if you have, a, you can imagine a pineapple fruit or pineapple salad or, or red fruit salad, you can imagine to reopen a glass, uh, a bottle of rosé uh, for two reasons. It's the best, uh, the best uh, food pairing with a, this kind of dessert. And the second reason is because it's very fresh. It's ref refresh you your mouth at the end of the, of, the, of the dinner. I can see that, you know, with a sorbet, I think it'd be absolutely delicious. And, and, and we speak only because the focus is Esprit Gassier, but if, if we, okay, tomorrow maybe, or a few months, to speak about Le Pas du Mois on 946, the, 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 the gap of, uh, of uh, food pairing is just uh, amazing. Uh, we can, you can imagine Le Pas du Moine with, a, not only imagine, because we, we do that with uh, truffles, uh, you hit with a uh, oyster, you hit with a uh, with, uh, with, uh, white lamb, with a lot, a lot. It's very rich. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's funny that you mention that because I had to bring in my lavender tree. Um, it was outside and we had very cold temperatures uh, this evening along with a squirrel that likes to chew on the uh, on the trunk of my new, yeah, my, my, my new lavender tree that I just picked up. Um, so I had to bring it inside. But, you, know, you know, another question is, uh, you're also heavily involved in the sommelier community in Provence, because you just had a competition last year, correct? So tell yes. us a little bit about that. I thought it was really Wait. cool. It, it's not only with Provence Sommelier, it's a national, uh, it's a national uh, competition. Uh, we launched two years ago. Uh, it was an idea uh, to say there is different uh, challenge of Sommelier in uh, Champagne, in Rhone Valley, in Bordeaux, but nothing in Provence. But we, we, we launched uh, a specific uh, competition 
with a competition reserved to the young sommelier. It means young people who study sommelierie at school. And for the second year, we organized uh, this, uh, this uh, competition. In, uh, it was in March. Uh, during one day, we received uh, five. Uh, so it, at the beginning, you have around 20 people uh, who compete. Uh, so there is a, a training and, a, and the competition. At the end, you have only five uh, finalists, it's correct? Finalists? Yes. 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 Five, five uh, the, the, the best. There are five. And in, the, in these five people, four women, one man. Yeah, William. Yeah. <laughs> the same last year. Four women, one man. Exceptional level for, for all. And like last year, this year, it was a young girl, 21, 22, uh, young sommelier. Um, who win the, 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 the competition of the Chateau Gassier uh, Sommelier Challenge. Uh, it, it's since only two years. So the first years, it was very, very small. Uh, last, this year, it was more, more not national uh, echoes, but more and more uh, magazines speak about the, the challenge. And we, we, it's just always the same uh, goal to prove that Gassier produced the Grosé for gastronomy. Just in this, in this way, to say that you are, uh, the, last year, the, the young uh, finalist, uh, the winner, uh, was working with uh, uh, Régis uh, Marcon. Ah, oh, uh, three stars in uh, uh, Amazing place to, for food and wine, sure. And uh, she is convinced, that, no, that uh, Rosé is perfect with all the food you can you can imagine on the on the list of a three stars Michelin. Uh, so so we will continue this uh, competition next year, and we hope more and more to have more and more people. Uh, no, and, I look uh, forward to that. You know, with the uh, with the competitions that we have here in the United States, whether or not it's the uh, Shen, you know, the, the Shen does a young sommelier competition every year, um, yes. along with you know uh, competitions that you'll have at Texom and you know uh, around the country. It's nice to see that support. Um, for uh, restaurateurs and aspiring sommeliers as they're starting to uh, learn and get into the business. Sure. One of the uh, things with rosé, uh, and we don't talk about this an awful lot, uh, is, the, uh, is the use of or the non-use of uh, sagné. So how does Chateau Gassier approach that process? Chateau Gassier, uh, in Provence, you have some people I think maybe, I don't know, five or 10, we use Rosé de Seigné. Mm -hmm. uh, in Provence, uh, we use since uh, more than 10, 15, maybe 20 years. I'm very young, so I don't remember. But uh, more, more than 15 years, uh, we use uh, pellicular uh, maceration, pellicular fermentation. It means we, we put the grapes in the, in, the, in the press machine and we use the it's, it's very complex to produce rosé. Uh, all, all the people say, okay, it's very it's easy to drink. So people s they imagine the, it's easy to produce, but not, it's not easy because all, all, the, all the, the complexity to produce a rosé is to obtain the pale color. Sure, because the consumer everywhere all over the world, they need a pale color. It's psychologic. If you offer a tavel color, nobody can, can, uh, can uh, buy your wine. So pale color, but pale color means if you want to prove that gastronomy and everything we spoke during uh, the, the last 30 minutes, you have to find wine and structure in your mouth. If you let the skin with the juice too long, you obtain beautiful wine, beautiful structure, but very dark. If you let the skin and the juice just uh, to, to short time, you obtain a beautiful color, maybe uh, between white and rosé, more, more white than rosé, but nothing in your, in your mouth. Mm. So all, all the, 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 the art of the rosé, the art of Guillaume, uh, is to let the skin and the juice, the good time to obtain and the color and the, the, firm, and the, the structure in the wine. If you have not enough maceration, you have not enough tannins. If you, are not, if you, if you have not enough tannins, you have not wine, <laughs> you have just a drink, you know? So it's, it's, very, it's very difficult. And it's all, all the, one, one of, the, of the complexity to make rosé is in this process of fermentation. 
No, it's, it, it certainly is a delicate balance. Uh, you know, we don't think about it, you know, for this category. And there are many regions around the world that they, uh, they tend to, I'm not going to say uh, cut corners, but maybe it's the grape varieties that are used that a one-size-fits-all approach uh, doesn't necessarily mean that you get a one-size-fits-all quality um, uh, around the world for rosé. So, you know, with, with, with that in mind, um, we haven't talked about, you know, the, uh, the, the change in the direction to uh, organic viticulture uh, for Chateau Gassier. So when did that start? Uh, and uh, where do you see that going for the, uh, for, for the, for the Chateau? The official recognition for, for our, our organic viticulture was 16. It means since the vintage 2016, we are uh, allowed to put the organic logo on the Padu on, uh, on 946 uh, because it's a single vineyard who is organic. Espligacier is not from this single vineyard. It's our own grapes, but it's not. No, it's not organic. Maybe it's a discussion we, we, we need, we, thinking and discussion we need to have for the future, not, not in the next three, three years. I can explain why, but not for Espligacier. Sure. For organic, uh, uh, for organic Chateau Gassier, uh, before to obtain the certification in 2016, we begin to think about organic in 2010, and we begin to test some parcels in 2011, because one of the problems when you transfer your viticulture between uh, conventional and organic is uh, <laughs> it's very economic but you lose a lot of volume. And when you have only 40 hectares to lose 30% of volume, it's really economically very difficult. So you have to test, uh, to test, T-E-S-T, -E not to mm -hmm. taste. You have to test uh, how the vine can uh, react, or which kind of reaction you will have with an organic uh, way. Because organic is not just to say we are organic. It's a lot, a lot of change, like uh, to work the soil, uh, it means before the organic, all the roots are maximum five to 10 centimeters. Now with organic, we oblige the roots to go deep because we are tractor, is with our machine, we work the soil. Uh, because it's organic, you have not chemical treatment. So you, you have to work, not by end, but, but with machine, you have to work the soil. So we, we wait during three years to be convinced that organic is a very, very good uh, option and we changed in 2013, and three years after, we obtained the, the organic certification in 16. No, that's, uh, that's great, because, you know, we, again, talking about what happens in the, uh, the vineyard, also what happens in the winery, uh, how do you look at the, uh, the holistic? You know, I, I refer to, you know, not only the vineyards, but the winery, but in the estate and the surrounding area um how what is the philosophy of uh, of gassier there because you're yeah. in a very historic you know place you know we talk about saint victoire and you know cezanne painting these you know incredible pieces um you know how did how how does the 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 philosophy of gassier tie in to how special uh the uh, the region is you know, we, we are, and we can see in the, on, your, on your back, the photos, and uh, we are in an in a area with an exceptional area for the nature, for the environment. You have the mountain, you have the San Victor mountain, but in front of the mountain, on the, of the San Victor mountain. So it means in my back, you have a second mountain with Mount Orion Mount. After Orion Mount, you have another mountain with a saint Aubaume Mount. Okay, it's a lot of mountain. It's nature, natural environment. We have uh, many uh, eagles in the mountain. We have a lot, a lot of different snakes. We have a lot, a lot of different animals specific to the Saint Victor mountain. When you are in the Saint Victor mountain, and it was my philosophy when I arrived in uh, 2010, because I love nature and env environment. When we arrive, when I arrive here, in my mind, I said it's impossible when you are, you know, uh, Williams, the place when you are on the grass behind me. You can, you imagine. Uh, to see the nature, to see the mountain, to see the trees, to see everything, the animals, the birds, 
and to see a guy in a tractor with a mask, with a, you know, <laughs> uh, like, like, like people you see with a, with a COVID-19 now, it's a, exactly the same protection. And you, 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 you feel that it doesn't make sense. It's impossible to continue like that. So with Georges Gassier, with, uh, who work with us today, with, uh, the son of Anthony Gassier, uh, Georges is a uh, younger than me, but it may be 45, 46. He's convinced uh, about the same, the same trend, the same way. So he, he, we, we agree to, 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 to transfer the vitic conventional viticulture to organic viticulture. And now it means around 10 years after, eight years after, no regret because after three years of less volume, yes, sure, at the beginning, the volume goes down, mm -hmm. but after you find your normal volume and you know then you made something good for environment. And at the same time, we agree with uh, uh, the official, uh, 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 official uh, site of uh, Grand Site Saint Victoire is the official uh, administration who, who, who manage the mountain before, the, behind, the, behind you, because there is a lot of tourism, you can imagine. So they are obliged to limit the number of the people. So we work with them. Uh, we decide a, a patronage with the Grand Site Saint Victoire. Uh, we give them money every year to help them to protect eagles, to protect some snakes, to protect a lot, a lot of different uh, things. And six years ago, we, we create a specific trail in the Chateau Gassier uh, uh, vineyards whose name is uh, Sentier des Vignes, Vanyard's Trail, and where uh, everybody, it's free, so totally free, so you can come with your family, with your friend, and you walk during one to two hours, depends uh, which, which trail you choose, and you can discover the vineyard, and you have uh, some, uh, some uh, information board where you have the, the, the link between the organic viticulture and the protection of environment. And because, you know, I think it's the same in U.S., but in France, uh, people who make wine, uh, viticulturists are attacked today by people who say you are not uh, organic, so you, you make a lot of pollution because of the product you use. So with organic, <laughs> yes. it's, it, it's totally, totally safe. So after some people said, oh, okay, you're organic, but it means you have more, uh, more machine in, your, in the vineyard, so you use more, okay, there is no. I said everything, there is no one solution. Yes. There is many solutions who permit us to, to work at the same, uh, on, the, on the same way, you know? So sure, maybe, maybe we use more uh, gasol to go to the, to, the, to the vineyard, but I prefer to use uh, maybe one or two times per year more gasol than to put uh, only chemical product during a lot, a lot of years and generation. It's totally different. You cannot compare. Yes. No, I agree. It's it's a very it's a it's a very difficult uh, you know set of questions to ask, and you know we call those wicked problems. Um, how do you take care of the environment while making the best wines possible? How do you balance that? And I think that you've done a pretty amazing job of that. You know, uh, having walked the the tour uh, or the uh, path myself, and even having made it up uh, to the, uh, uh, the 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 top of the mountain where. Uh, where the shrine is. You know, we didn't even get a chance to talk about that. Um, so where does the path of the monk, the name Padamuan, what does that refer to? The, the story, at the, it was the same in, uh, in two, 10 years ago uh, when we decided to, to move uh, to organic uh, certification. We decided to create the ranch you know today. Not, not Esprigacier. Esprigacier doesn't exist at this time, but uh, we create Le Padamuan and 946. And at the same spirit uh, that I, I described just before for environment, we decide to make a, an homage to the mountain with a ranch. So the name of Le Pas du Moine, the path of the monk, is just because at the top of the mountain, not really the top, the top is just in front of me, the, the Pic des Mouches with uh, uh, 1,011 meters. But at 946 meters on the west part of the mountain, uh, behind the cross of Provence, you had, at the last century, you had a, a monasterio. Uh, today, it's a refuge for, for people when you walk in the mountain. If, if there is a storm, you can, uh, you can stop uh, uh, at this place. But one century ago, it was a, a monasterio. And when the monk goes to the mountain from Aix-en-Provence, they use a specific trail 
And the name of this trail now is the path of the monk. It's just because the monk used before. So we choose the name of this trail because it's a very well-known trail when you want to go to the cross. So the path of the monk and the story is you, you, you drink the path of the monk. Well, not during the trail because it's too difficult to drink and to walk. But if you decide to taste before the trail or after, you have the path of the monk. And when you arrive at the top of the mountain, you arrive at 946 meters where, where it's based the, the, the cross. And when you are at 946 meters, you are at the top of the mountain. So it means you can drink the top of the Ranger of Chateau Gassier. <laughs> Which ties into the esprit, the spirit of, uh, of, of Gassier in many ways. You, know, since, you, since... You, 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 you enjoy the spirit at the very beginning and at the, uh, the very end. <laughs> and you know, it, it's, new, it's new with Esprit Gassier because we enjoy the spirit of Gassier because, uh, before the path of the monk. And since two years, we launched Elevae. We have no time here to speak about Elevae, but it's a very, very specific uh, Rosé d'Elevage, 2016 vintage. We bought all uh, at, in December 2018. And Elevae means elevation. And it was after 946. We said, oh, shit, it finished 946. There is only the sky. So we think about what above us, there is an elevation with the star. So we put star on the, on the bottle and we create the name of Eleve, like elevation, because it's uh, after elevation, I don't know what's possible to do, but. Uh, well, you know, just reach for the stars. That's, that's what we can do. So, um, you know, now that we're finishing up, is there um, anything that you want, you know, parting words, some final words, things that are happening that are new uh, at the uh, Chateau that everyone can take with them? Sorry? So, uh, you know, as we're about to close up, uh, I didn't see any other uh, questions, but uh, is there anything new that's happening at the winery that we should know about? New, new it's not very, very new, but uh, the, the fact is we work more and more uh, for with, with a, a notoristic event uh, on Chateau Gassier. We develop, uh, it's very important if you, some of, uh, of, of, uh, of people who decide to visit uh, Provence for this summer, I think it will be totally impossible uh, with this, uh, with this uh, COVID. But uh, for next year, uh, we organize during the summer a lot of events like um, uh, outside cinema, every Friday in July and August. We organize, uh, we, we spoke about STAR, we organize four nights. It's uh, two in July, two in August. It's a Saturday night. We organize um, a STAR observation with a specific, uh, I don't know the term in English, sorry, but uh, big... Yeah, stargazing uh, or, you know, uh, astronomy. Astronomy, with astronomy, uh, people from an astronomic uh, club who comes to explain to the public uh, the STAR and the... And uh, we organize some uh, events around the music, jazz and, uh, and different events. So Chateau Gassier, more and more, is well known in the area of Marseille and Aix-en-Provence on the, on, the, on the south of France, like a, a very beautiful place uh, because it's a beautiful place for the view and uh, hope for the wine. And more and more for the event, uh, the, the, vineyard, the vineyard and the site is well known for an touristic event. So it's very important to to know that because when I always say when you when you sell for your team, uh, David, uh, when uh, William, when you when you know that when you sell a wine, a rosé wine, you never sell a wine. You sell for Provence. You sell a spirit. Uh, and when I travel in US or everywhere in China, is the same. In Australia, is the same. When you say Provence, and I think it's very lucky for us because it's only with Provence you can do this. When you say Provence to a sommelier to a, a uh, wine shop, wine bar, everywhere. When you say Provence, people think about rosé, but they think about holidays, they think about blue skies, they think about the sea, they think about uh, French Riviera. So it means you, you sell not only a wine, but you sell a spirit, a way of life. So it's very important to include your vineyard in this way of life. If we, if we have only uh, a, a boutique to sell wine, for, for me, my job is not complete. Because our job is to make discover not only wine, but the, the, the good way to drink this wine and how to drink the wine. So it's the reason why Gassier is working a lot on this kind of uh, event. 
No, that's wonderful. I mean, so for anyone, any of the, uh, the, the buyers or anyone in the trade, and you happen to be going to France uh, and spending some time in Provence, let your Wilson Daniels uh, uh, regional manager or representative know, and we can arrange a, a tour and a tasting. Because if you, if you haven't seen this part of Provence, you really should. It's a, it's a phenomenal property. Sure, I confirm. <laughs> well, my friend, um, thank you so much. And thanks for everyone that uh, chimed in. Um, you know, keep uh, looking out for our uh, Wilson Daniels um, uh, IG lives. Uh, we have many uh, of them coming up in the next few days. Uh, do follow uh, Chateau Gassier on Instagram. Um, you know, and, you know, Olivier and uh, Guillaume and all of the team there will be happy to answer any of your questions. Um, it, it requires a village and, you know, we're just glad that you're a part of it. So again, Thanks, Olivier. Um, yeah. Hopefully the uh, drive is a pleasant one back home. And, uh, you know, say hello to the family and stay safe. Sure. You too. Uh, thank, you. thank you for your time and, uh, and uh, hope uh, everybody uh, is, uh, is uh, safe, is free. Free, free, sure, but safe, it's different. Uh, hope we will, uh, we will uh, see the, the end of this uh, crisis as soon as possible. I think uh, we, we don't know, but we, we hope we have to, to cross finger uh, who permits us to travel <laughs> because uh, Instagram, it, it's, it's nice. Huh? I like, but it's different than a, a good uh, glass of rosé in, in a restaurant uh, everywhere in the US. And uh, we, we, as you said, uh, all the team make, uh, uh are available for Wilson Daniel team to, to give you more information, more videos, more photos and uh, and thank you all for your job and your passion in your job and to push and to, to, to push and to, to defend Chateau Gassier everywhere in the US. Thanks a lot. And hope to see you soon. Au revoir, my friend. Next we time. just forgot to say, but I will, I will test alone now. Okay? <laughs> Sorry. Eh? <laughs> well, there's, there's no time like the present. All right, guys. <laughs> Well, thank you again, and uh, see us uh, later on on, uh, on Wilson Daniels' Instagram. Bye. Yeah, bye.